Hello and welcome. We are the Concord Raiders. Our school is located in Wilmington, Delaware. In early September, our class brainstormed ways in which we could solve problems in our local community. We reached out to local nonprofits, schools, and community members, searching for ways in which we could use our engineering skills to make a difference in the lives of others. We were lucky enough to connect with Jeanette Schenkel. Mrs. Schenkel explained how she was a teacher of students with intense and complex disabilities and that her students needed assistive technology devices that would help them improve their fine and gross motor skills and academic knowledge, as well as increase their independence in a fun and interactive way. In order to better understand the problem, we took a field trip to visit Mrs. Schenkel and her students. Observing her class was an impactful experience as we were able to gain empathy and see firsthand the challenges faced by her students, Brayden, Luke, and Ahmed. Um, this program allows these students who normally, if they were in another state, uh, may not have a, a class like this. They may be home or be in another setting. Each of these graphs shows the steady increase over the past five years in the number of special ed students that our district continues to serve. It's amazing to be part of a district so welcoming to students with special needs, but with this movement comes the challenge of making sure each student has access to the resources, devices, and assistive technology they need to be successful. I knew that um, I needed help, to be honest. That cry for help was all we needed to hear. With a deeper understanding of the problem and empathy for the students, it was time to get to work. For the next four months, we set out to develop devices that would meet the needs of Ms. Schenkel students and ultimately increase their independence. Using CAD software, shop tools, rapid prototyping equipment, and our knowledge of electronics and programming, we were able to bring our ideas to life. By January, we had working models that were nearly ready to be put back into the hands of our clients. As we presented our solutions to our own classmates, it was neat to see how each group focused on a different student's unique needs, yet stayed true to the problems identified in September. With all of our devices ready to go, each group loaded up and returned to Ms. Schenkel's class for testing. During testing, we were able to collect both qualitative and quantitative data, proving the effectiveness of our devices. We enjoyed observing the students' reactions and interest in our devices, and can tell they enjoy interacting with and learning from them. The feedback from Mrs. Schenkel and her paraeducators has been overwhelmingly positive. Um, it was a perfect partnership.